Welcome back everyone. If you're new here, hello, my name is Amy and today I have an LV unboxing. It's been a minute since I bought any Louis Vuitton. Maybe even over a year. It's been that long. What was the last thing I bought? I have a feeling you guys probably know better than I do. <laughs> I'll do my first impression review. I'll try to fit a few things in it. Yes, it is a bag so that it will probably help some of you decide if this version is for you or not. So let's get right into the unboxing. That's the proof of purchase. So uh, this bag um, was purchased by my friend who helped me get it because I no longer have an essay at LV and uh, well that's not true I do but she is in maternity leave. Regardless this is one of those really really hard to get handbags and you probably need to be a VIP to get it or you probably needed to be on the list really really early on. Believe me I've tried I couldn't get it myself so my friend helped me get it she sent it to me she packaged it super well you know who you are thank you so much babe. Anyway here we have it it's really really tiny to reveal any guesses? <laughs> so cute! Ah! <laughs> I hate it when everything comes at the very same time. Don't you agree? Every single fashion house where I'm after a certain item, and by the way, this was part of my wish list, they are all coming at the very same time. Hence, all my unboxing seems to be all together. But anyway, that's how it works sometimes. So here you are, the newest Nano Speedy. Yes, this is the newest version. And we'll get into all the details. Like I said, I'll provide my uh, review, my first impression review. It does have this D ring for a detachable strap. So yeah, this is the 360 view. This is the top and the strap is inside. This is the detachable strap that comes with it. And uh, the interior is just the canvas lining and it does have um, a little tag inside. Mine is made in France and underneath this one because I was actually looking I, I thought maybe there was an RFID um, but this one just has the normal tag the um, date code so mine was made on the third week of 2022. The tags that came with the product. Let me share some measurements um, because I know you guys will be very very curious as to why I went with this version and also why I actually prefer this version over the older version. I'll do modeling shots, the whole shebang because that's uh, going to be more comprehensive as a review which I always try my best to give as much information as possible and for the price in Canadian dollars it's 2240 plus taxes so it's pretty pricey considering that a speedy 25 bandoulière is much cheaper well not much cheaper but it's cheaper a much larger bag the height of the bag from um, right here to right here is about 10 centimeter and the depth so from here to here 7.5 centimeter the width so from here to here is about 16 centimeter the drop here on the little handle is about 6 centimeter and yes I can get my wrist through I also measured the zipper opening yes because these speedies or any speedies for that matter have this problem of constricting opening for such a large uh, well not large in this case but for such a roomy bag for what it is so the zipper opening I did measure it from this end to this end opened of course it is 13.5 centimeters and that is important to know because if you have too large of a phone which um, this one still fits you still have to angle it of course this phone is exactly 16 centimeter height which is the max size iphone mine is the 10s max you can still put it in 
you just have to angle it in so um of course right now it looks so easy because it is completely empty but if you have quite a few things inside it you kind of have to really work around it and that was always an issue that i um was never fond of and most likely my next phone will be just the pro not the max the other thing that i also measured for you because it does come with this detachable adjustable strap so it does have um one two three four five six seven settings on the shortest setting it is 44 centimeter drop which is equivalent to 17 inch that's pretty short and on the longest setting it's 52 centimeter drop which is a 20.5 inch drop and 20.5 is pretty short if you think about it especially if you're really tall however that's the reason why i prefer this version because i prefer my strap drop to be just adequate so i'm just 5'4 and i'm on the thinner side i leave mine on the third from the longest and that is about a 19.5 inch drop and i find that this is the perfect drop for not only crossbody for me, it hits right in front of my hip bone, but it also is a great drop for shoulder wear, which is a game changer in my opinion for the reason why I love, one of the reasons why I love this version. Aside from that, I wanted to point out a couple of differences. So the zipper pull is absolutely different. It's a lot more robust. It does have this leather pull. It has shiny gold hardware here on the rivet and also on the metal piece, even this um, zipper head is also in the shiny gold metal and this is one of the reasons why I prefer this version this version just looks like a speedy like a proper handbag but super shrunken because aside from the canvas everything else is sort of oversized in a way the chaps are oversized the handles are more oversized the clasps themselves are oversized the strap itself is thicker for such a little tiny little bag right so for me this makes the bag cuter like it actually looks cuter in my opinion you don't have to agree with me but i i feel like this is more of a proper bag construction but just super super shrunken i also really love the fact that they included a lot of the shiny gold hardware because we all know LV is notorious for kind of the cheaper brassy matte hardware which is on the nano version before even the zipper pull all the d-rings everything is sort of like that cheaper hardware with this version you get the shiny gold clasp here you get the shiny gold d-rings you get the shiny gold it is engraved louis vuitton over here all the rivets on the bag is also in that shiny gold hardware which is uh, all upright as well they are all installed upright okay i'm trying to figure out if maybe if maybe the d-ring is still that kind of different matte gold hardware i'm having a bit of a hard time telling if it's different i feel like it is slightly different it's not so so bad like this is not so matte and so light colored but it is slightly different i can't decide if the square ring is also in that cheaper hardware it, it may be it may be shiny i'm not even sure it's kind of hard to tell again i don't know why lv keeps doing that but regardless it is still a really cute bag and overall the actual pieces of hardware are the nicer shinier gold hardware which i really really appreciate and even the zipper itself is kind of that larger teeth oversized zipper it's super smooth there is glazing of course but this glazing is more like a it's more like a touch of color actually on the handle it's very very shiny the glazing this time it's not that matte it's not that matte glazing which i'm so used to seeing on vachetta bags and um I wonder, I almost wonder if it's because even on the side here on the chaps, they are the super shiny red glazing and on the strap as well. And I almost wonder if it's just something that they do on the pre-patina vachetta because as you notice, the, 
the patina of this bag is already quite beautiful. It's already kind of in that um, medium patina, which is wonderful. I love that about it. So to recap, all the things that I prefer about this version or that I love about this version is the patina, the pre-patina, the fact that this looks like a real handbag construction but just shrunken, and all the shiny gold hardware, the fact that the strap is shorter for me is a plus. Last but not least, it is a nano bag, which of course is very trendy at the moment. And I love nano bags. So those are all the great things that I love about this version. The not so great things that I, if I can point out, is that this version, for some reason, they made it smaller than the last version, which Almost makes no sense because why would you go smaller in a way because it was already pretty small to begin with However, I think the width is about the same It's just that it's a bit taller and the width is a bit more uh, But that is a huge difference. You can fit a lot more in the older version The other con for some of you is definitely the shorter strap length Another major con is of course the price It is so expensive now for this little dinky bag well over $2,000 mark, but I will say coming from a background of sewing, I do know that the smaller it is, the harder it is to make as well, like to go around the corners, to flip it, all that stuff. Um, it is in a way harder to make, so I completely understand it from the point of view of that. Uh, but I do know that they are taking advantage of the fact that it's the trend, it's cute, and they are making a few improvements to attract people to buy it. They had such a great opportunity to make the newest version of the Nano Speedy even better. Yes, there are some improvements, which I pointed out earlier, but I felt like they could have just made it maybe a centimeter or two wider this way so that our large phones, which are getting larger in a sense, can fit more easily, even if you have to angle it in. So I thought that was a lost opportunity. Right. Now that we've got my first impression out of the way, let me show you what it fits or what I would probably fit in here. Of course, I also had to get an organizer for this little bag, not for organization, but just to keep the interior clean. That's what I use organizers for. I don't really care about all the pockets and stuff. I just really like the fact that they are perfect liners. This portion of the video is kindly sponsored by Samorga. They make their organizers to custom fit exactly to the handbags themselves. And yes, they already had this handbag. Well, not this exact version. They actually had the pink version, which was in denim, which came out first. And hence the reason why the little organizer is in pink. It has reinforced bottom, so the bottom is double layered and it also features one slip pocket on the inside. Here's the branding and that's pretty much it. You can choose this organizer in two different fabrics, two millimeter felt or the thinner 1.2 millimeter felt, which is what I have. Like I said, I pretty much use most of my organizers as liners so I don't really need the added structure hence I prefer usually I prefer the thinner felt which this one is you can also use my coupon code amy20 to save 20% at checkout and that applies to everything so you can buy a strap you can buy an organizer whatever it will work for everything if I were to use the phone quite regularly I might just leave it like this kind of standing up so that um, I can reach for it a lot but anyway let's just pretend that I'm just walking around and I don't need to reach for my phone I also have my Apple watch anyway so I can take calls and everything messages on the watch so we'll just leave the phone right in Chanel card holder and that does fit right in as well there's actually a lot of room but you just have to really play around with the with the room inside and then of course we also have keys so this is the six key holder from LV and it does fit right in as well hand sanitizer so this is one that is just um, tall enough to fit in the bag so I can just leave that kind of standing up right there and you might also have some lip products car keys that will fit right in as well and um, this is looking pretty good. There's still quite a bit of space. 
And so I will put my sunnies in there. So these are my Oliver people. There we have it. I'm not gonna lie, it's way too full right now. I probably wouldn't really put sunglasses in, but it does fit. Pretty cool, right? That it fits so much for a little nano bag. And obviously we know that Speedies is a Boston bag, right? So it does fit a lot because it's pretty much a little black hole inside, although this is a small black hole. I don't think that I will be leaving my sunglasses in the bag all that often except if it was maybe dinner time and i'm not really going to reach into my bag then i'll leave it in so that i know I'm, i won't lose them so far i'm loving the new nano speedy i feel like all the little changes they made to the bag makes sense and i actually prefer the shorter strap i even don't mind that it's a thicker strap once i have it in person and i started trying it on i understand the thicker strap so i feel like this is very very much suitable for a shorty or if you prefer the look of this or if you just like having a detachable strap you can always just use one of the other straps that you own in fact samorga sells a ton of different accessories for handbags they don't just do organizers they do strap covers they have an array of different straps in different lengths different materials in fact they also have vachetta straps which I should have remembered to get some. I think they have a thinner one, they have a thicker one, they have an adjustable one. So I'll link to that as well down below. Maybe I should get extra ones for when I travel. Obviously when I'm traveling, I won't be bringing this really bulky keys, uh, but at least I know that my sunglasses can fit, a sanitizer, large phone, a uh, passport will fit. And uh, just to give you a visual, I don't own a lot of LV items anymore, but I do still own the mini pochette. And this is the visual difference for size reference. On the older version, which actually has the same zipper pull as this, it has the matte zipper pull, right? The, the old version versus this version, which is the new version. It's so much shinier. For reference, I'm 5'4 inches tall and I'm on this slimmer build. I love it. It's a really good size and um, yeah, it looks really cute as an evening bag or you can go from day to night if you wear the shoulder straps. With the strap, I do wear on the third longest hole, so one, two, three. It does have seven holes in total, so the strap drop for this will be 19 and a half inch. The perfect crossbody um, for me that way. But also, I like the fact that this length is the perfect shoulder bag because it's not too low. It still hits at the right place. Let me just put my keys, my wallet, and my phone in it so that it has some weight. And now I feel like it will just stay put on my shoulders. Yeah, there. Stays put on my shoulders. It's a nice length for a shoulder bag. So it's pretty nice and casual. But it's also great for crossbody. And if I was entering the dinner hall, I can just go top handle. or crook of the arm. Actually, my left arm is smaller, so it does go all the way down to the crook of the arm. The strap is a bit stiff right now, as you can see, but with Vachetta, because it's untreated leather, uh, although it is a bit tan, but it's essentially still untreated, it will soften up really beautifully as you use it more, so I'm not worried about that at all and I love all the details except for the fact that I wish they just made it slightly longer or I just wish that maybe they allowed the zipper to go all the way down to the side 
just like they did on the Speedy 20. That way, for sure, there is no issues putting your larger size phone in and out of this bag because aside from that, honestly, it's pretty much perfect. For me, this is the perfect Speedy. For those of you who are wondering how the shortest setting looks like, which is even more of a proper shoulder bag because now it's really the perfect shorter length. It's really cute. So it's it's really cute as a shoulder bag on the shorter length. Um, yeah, it's really, really cute, which is why I love the fact that the strap is shorter on this one. I honestly do. It's a little bit more versatile and it looks more put together as a shoulder bag. And when you go top handle, it doesn't dangle as long. But for me, the sweet spot is the third longest because like I said, that way I can still cross body it. But uh, I could always just change it, right? It's pretty easy. Just change up the strap length on the go. And yeah, it's pretty sweet. I love this bag. And I love that it's more luxe, like all the hardware, the, the all the hardware and all the leather trims are more luxe. It's more robust and it's still the signature speedy look. Aside from the zipper opening, of course, again, it's always down to the zipper opening for me. But aside from that, it's, uh, it's pretty perfect. It's easy to zip open and stuff. So I, I completely love it. I'm completely smitten with this one. And I feel like this is there I say, for sure a keeper. I'm done selling my speedies. This one is the, probably the last speedy I'll ever have to get. And this one will stay. Let me know if you're gonna get your hands on this or try. Let me know how you feel about this new version. Don't forget to check out Samorga. I will have this organizer link down below. If you're new to my channel, I would love to have you back. Please don't forget to subscribe. In fact, if you wanna support me further, you can also become a channel member where you get more exclusive content. Thank you all for watching and I'll talk to you guys again very soon. Bye.